Well, one Sunday uh, before I preached, I, um, for some reason, I'll get up and I'll walk out the pulpit and walk outside while the choir is singing and everything. I'll just walk outside. And so this particular Sunday, I decided to get up and walk outside just to see if there was anybody that I should reach out to who was out on the street. And when I got out here, one of our church members, she was just pulled up. And so she stopped right there and she got out of the car. She said, Pastor T, come here. There's, there's some boy running around looking in cars out here. So I said, oh, okay. So another gentleman was with, with me. So we walked down the sidewalk and we saw him, you know, his pants, his pants were sagging. So he was trying to hold his pants up and kind of run at the same time. And so I just said, hey man, come here. I said, come here, come here, come here. And I said, I told him, I said, you're not in trouble. Just come here. You're not in trouble, just come here. So a little boy turns around and he comes to me and I asked him his name, he told me his name. I asked him how old he was, he said he was 15. And I said, uh, I said, where's your mama? He said, she's at home. I said, where's your daddy? He says, I don't care about him. And I said, why are you looking in cars? He says, I don't know. I said, what do you need? He said, nothing. And I said, you must need something because you're out here looking in cars. And so he said, I, I, I need some clothes. I need some nice clothes. And I said, okay. I said, look, I said, if you trust me, I will introduce you to some people who will love you enough that they'll give you what you need. You don't even have to have any money. You're looking in these cars, trying to find some money to steal, to get you some clothes. And the truth is, there's there people that will give you clothes. They love you that much. I said, but you got to trust me. I said, do you trust me? And he says, yeah. So we walked back into church and he went into the church with me. At the end of service, I brought a gentleman that works at K&G out in Castleton down to the altar. I brought the young man up. There was another young man who uh, had uh, done some significant time in jail for drugs. So both of them were down at the altar, both trying to get themselves together. And I told this young 15 year old, I said, look, I'm connecting you with somebody who has what you need. And then I, I selected another deacon. I said, you're the accountability. What's going on, man? You're the accountability. So now you follow up and make sure this young man gets what he needs. And of course, he never showed up again. You know, he never showed up again. And that's, to me, it's okay. You know, because I know the trust has to be built up and he just wasn't there. So I just saw him just the other day, a couple days ago, since we've been in the tent, I caught him walking down the street and I ran up to him, gave him a big old hug. I said, man, I missed you. I said, where you been? He said, I just been busy. 15 years old, I've been busy. Okay, yeah, right, whatever. And so I told him, I said, I said, I asked you if you trusted me. And I said, I had everything set up for you. I said, but you didn't show up. I said, what did your mama say when you went home? told her you went to church. She said, he said, she, she told me to keep going to church. And I said, you let your mama down and you let me down too. I said, but you gotta show up. And then I asked him something simple. I said, what do you wanna be when you grow up? And he said, I wanna be an architect. And I said, do you think you're gonna make it to that goal of being an architect? And he said, no. He said, I don't think I'm gonna make it. I said, you got to understand that you got people like me and people at my church and others in this community. We want you to reach that goal. We want you to be that architect. I said, but you must trust us. He had no idea that he was talking to somebody who, that's what I went to Ball State for, is architecture. He had no clue. You know, he doesn't know that I know people who are architects right now. He doesn't know that my mentor was an architect, you know. But even without that being said, there's a lot of 15-year-olds just like this young man in this community who if you ask them what they want to do or what they want to be, they'll tell you. But they'll also tell you that they don't think they're going to make it to that. And so some of us have to get to a place where we recognize our role in sacrificing our time, our money, you know, our relationships to come to these young people and tell them, if you want to get there, I'll walk with you. 